Today we're having a look at the Audi R8 LMS. These cars were raced at the Bathurst 12 hour in 2012. The slot cars were at least between I think 2012 and 2014. So it's certainly not a new release, but uh, at least for the scale electric ones, it's one of those cars that do you really want to get out of the box? I've seen some of these going on certain popular auction sites for you know, two or three hundred bucks a piece. Today we will risk the rear wings. 2012 was the second year the GT uh, category was included in the Bathurst 12 hour and after the Eust Racing Audis dominated the 2011 race Phoenix Racing took over the Audi Mantle in 2011 with almost the same driver lineups for the two cars. As it did in 2011, the number one car dominated the race, winning by over a minute. It was driven in 2012 by Darrell A. Young, Chris Mays, and Christy Yons. Unfortunately, the number two car crashed out in the middle of the race, driven by Mark Eddy. Craig Lyons and Warren Luff. The two cars were distinctly liveried. Anyone who's driven in Australia will recognise the kangaroo warning sign. And of course, the redback spider. With the popularity of the Audi R8 LMS and with GT racing in general, Ninko released the 2012 uh, Bathurst car in 2012. Having a look at some of the reference photos, um, it looks like Ninko have based their uh, version of the car on the, the launch photos that were held at the Audi headquarters in, uh, in Germany. Scalextric, on the other hand, released their cars in 2013 and the cars are pretty faithful to the cars that rolled out during the 12 hour with numbers on the windscreens drivers names on the uh, on the, the doors and uh, signage accurate to the to the race Looking at the car side by side, there's some very clear differences and the Sky Electric car looks so much better. Um, the, the Sky Electric car is a matte satin finish, which is accurate to the, uh, to the race car. The detail in some of the print work um, looking at the texture on the, the next 6k um, signage there um, some of the print detail with the driver names the numbers on the front and uh, and on the rear um, the clear you can't really see it there but it's a clear engine cover uh, just some of the extra little detail the fact that they've used two different sizes for the armor all logo for the uh, window banner to the number plate uh, as I said earlier the signage is correct for the actual race car where uh, looking at the Ninko car it's got some well incorrect signage but it's 
I think pretty accurate to what the the launch of the vehicle was in uh, at the, the Audi headquarters but you know the dark windows and there's no interior from what I can tell they've just used the one size armor all uh, logo for the banner and the side there's no attempt to give any texture any um, sort of masking or anything to that next 6k but I guess you, you got to give credit for some of the detail on the uh, the Ninko car that's not there on the Sky Electric car uh, the, the front grille is uh, modelled a little bit more accurately and things like the tow hooks and that uh, uh, our model moving over to the redback car again just the detail of the uh, of the redback with the gradiated spider again the names over the um, over the door Interestingly, the windows on this one are blackened, which they aren't on the number one. Again, it's a matte satin finish, which the actual car was. Moving to the Ninko car. It's a gloss finish, the blackened windows again, and just the solid spider. It does stand out pretty well, I've got to say. So one feature of the number one Sky Electric is the inclusion of the headlights and tail lights, which isn't present in the number two Sky Electric. Now that these all come out on top with some time hot laps.
race summary. Fastest lap. Lap 10, 3.73 seconds. So one other thing to consider with these cars is the weight and the motor. So if we have a look underneath the Ninko, it's an angle winder and it's got the Sparker which is a 20k, uh, 20k motor. Uh, I'm pretty sure they're all just plastic wheels on all four corners but the uh, two Ninko cars weigh in at around 75 grams each the Sky Electric cars I think from that era around 2012 was probably just a 18k uh, motor in there um, sidewinder configuration there uh, I think with the extra lights and everything in the number one, it weighs around 95 grams and the number two, which uh, is a little bit lighter at uh, 80, sort of around 85 grams. So that might account for a little bit uh, in the speed differences between the cars. But uh, all in all, 
I think we can say that the Sky Electric cars probably look the best. Uh, Ninko cars probably run the best and there's probably a little bit more room you'd think with the Ninko cars to do a little bit of tuning um, which certainly hasn't happened with these. They've probably had a light sand on the if you have a look at that it's probably a very light sand on the tyres and that's all that we've done to these cars. So that was it. The Audi R8 LMS uh, iconic liveries from um, from the Bathurst 12 hour back in 2012 some of the great races from the 12 hour and all in all some pretty cool cars thanks for watching